Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So this is my guide to heroes. Um, I went with a guide for pets yesterday and I wanted to just basically go over all these systems that's offered in the game. Just kind of go over everything and just talk a little bit about everything. So today I'm going to be talking about the heroes, um, the hero system. Just basically how to get your heroes as strong as possible. So right now this is my Lara, um, my my main hero, the one I'm using. I think everyone has to kind of choose one. There's not enough EXP to go around for you to use like to, to raise all three, unless you buy the pet that gives like a hundred bonus EXP. Then maybe at that point you can probably do it. But most of the time, um, once I reach the next level, my hero still isn't max level yet. So I basically have to, um, you know, just level one hero. I can't really go and level all three, of, all three of them. It's getting a little bit harder now. I think it's like I'm at about 10% EXP and my hero is already like halfway through the EXP bar. So, I think for for now like once you're higher levels, you can probably start raising more um, more heroes at the same time. I'm probably going to work on Vashu next because I just think there's a huge advantage for people that use Vashu right now because of the um, the items that are off offered to him. Like these are all offered to him for free. Basically, he gets he gets this blue weapon, he gets like this whole entire armor set piece um, just basically by by going through quests, by going through just random rewards and stuff, but you're guaranteed to get the whole entire set if you just play through the game. Um, yeah, so I think majority of the people are, are still using him because there's just really really big advantage to using him right now. But I, I just thought like to, to use something else for fun, so I did choose Lara. I, I, uh, Decide to raise Lara, and I actually bought a uh, bought this from the arena for her. I think this is a pretty good. If I can get like a three set, dude, the physical damage bonus. If I can get eight set, dude, the critical rate, dexterity. Holy shit, that would be awesome. Um, but anyways, I I decided to raise Lara, but that's not the the main point. You can choose any hero you want. They they have different roles, different um, abilities. You just kind of have to look through their skills and see which ones you like. So the first thing is um, equipment. Equipment for your for your hero is probably the main way to give them bonus stats. You know, aside from leveling, but leveling is pretty straightforward. You're gonna level your hero anyway, so I'm not gonna talk too much about that. You basically you just play through the map, um, keep that hero on your team, and you're gonna you're gonna keep leveling. You know, that's that's somewhat straightforward. So. The equipment system. Uh, there's multiple things you can do with the equipment. Equipment usually for for armor pieces. So everything on this side um, give you armor as a normal stat. Physical defense. Right? That's what they're they're called in the game. But basically armor. You know, protection from physical damage. Um, and accessories over here give magical defense over here. So. Basically, your heroes will have a good balance of physical and magical defense if you have like a balanced set of, of gear for them. I don't have a ring for Lara, it's just really weird, like there, there hasn't been a single ring that she couldn't use, so it's it's kind of sad, but um, I think at some point, eventually in the future, I'll definitely be able to like, you know, at least craft one or something. So, um, the, the equipment usually come with in rarities like the the rarity is is just like the the monster quality in the game it goes from um, it goes from gray or white to green to blue to purple and then to red and then I th I'm not sure I don't think there's any quality higher than that in the game right now but I I think they're suggesting like there's gonna be gold in the future or something like that because there's a gold there's probably gonna be a gold monster quality in the future um, but right now, red is the highest um, rarity of, of your items, and I don't think like there's there's really a level difference. Like if you guys played any sort of like MMORPG, like um, you know WoW or something, you'll know that like armors usually have like a level. You know, basically you can get like epic gear, which is like you know purple gear in WoW for for level 40, and then like you know if you if you get the same if you get um, gear that's like blue for level 60, then it's uh, the, the blue gear is gonna gonna be better than the purple gear because of the level difference. But in this game, there's no level difference for for gear. So basically, it's all about the the quality. Obviously, for the same quality of gears, there's gonna be better like better gear than others. For example, if you compare the two helms, like this this actually wait no, 
Actually, that's hard to say. Like, these two are the same quality, or the same type of poem. Um, but, you know, if you if you just take a look at, like, Sturdy Leather Hat um, versus... Versus this, you know, this like this has higher, slightly higher HP and slightly higher like you know other random stat that it gives. Um, but it's it's like this, this this is too close to tell. But you know, my point is like even for green gear, there's going to be different qualities of green gear. Like some green gear is going to be better than others. So you kind of have to you kind of have to be the judge of that as well. Um, I think a really good way to to look at it is like the crafting system, for example. Um, if you take a look at the crafting system, they, they there's like you know two different bows um, that are the same quality, but this one has like you know higher physical damage than this one. So although they're the same quality, there's still going to be gear that's like better than the other one. Um, I think in the game right now, like in terms of what I what I've seen, the best gear possible is probably the ones that are like the very very best ones that you can craft. Um, Maybe in the future there's going to be like boss drops for gear and stuff, so you can probably probably gear up then. But right now I think a really easy way to gear up is definitely to to get them through um, to PVP because you basically if you participate in PVP every day you're going to get those points, and then after you save up for a week or so you can probably buy like one piece um, and then slowly collect your pieces from there on. So that's what I'm planning to do for for my Lara. Hopefully I can get a ring, get a get a glove very soon just to kind of fill these empty slots um, a little bit more about the gear system the anything that's like green quality or above or actually no not just green quality and above all gear come with a bonus um, bonus stat at, at, at the very least one bonus stat sometimes when the gear is like higher quality it comes with more bonus types of stats um, and also like uh, you know, for for green gear, basically, you ha they come with one bonus stat, and then you can upgrade for another bonus stat. I think that it's the same thing with blue gear. For for purple, you can upgrade for um, another bonus stat at plus three, and then at plus six, you get another bonus stat. Um, be very very careful about upgrading. I actually found something out. If you upgrade anything that's green or actually no blue quality and above, um, if you upgrade them past plus three there's actually a chance for your items to be destroyed if you take a look at this so your items may evaporate when the enchantment fails so basically what you want to do is I think at the very least get any all your items that you want to use to plus three then maybe like if you have a replacement ready that's like you know ready for your your hero that you can use then you can safely tr or try to attempt to get it get it to like plus six or something like that um, and then eventually to the point where you either succeed and you, if you want to get that item to its max potential um, you either succeed or the item breaks and you you lose that item and you, you can use your replacement item um, that's kind of a scary system like I don't I don't think a lot of games have that I think not not a lot of games that, like that I, I played in um, you know like on any NA servers have that but I guess this is on the Asia server so people are like a little bit more hardcore so they can <laughs> they can kind of handle it um, but anyways there's yeah that's, that's just the basics you basically at plus three you get a bonus stat at plus if it's a higher grade item at plus six you can there's another chance for you to get an, another bonus stat um, there's also set bonuses so any any items that have this like a, like a chain mark over here it means that it's part of a set and if you complete a set by having like three of the same types of set um, pieces then it, it gives you the bonus for three sets so if I have three like purified whatevers in my inventory or equipped it on my Lara then I will have I will have extra you know physical damage 271 um, if I if I have five of them equipped I'll have I have this and then I'll also have the extra critical rate and then if I have all eight pieces then then I'll get all three bonuses it's pretty straightforward um, the reforging system is a little bit more complicated basically you can only reforge if you if you either um, if it's either the items of the same part or same rarity I don't, I don't think this one can really show reforge because I don't I don't have an extra cape but if I show a head or something like that I can I can show reforging um wait, come on, can you can you let me? So basically what reforging does is um you can either 
change you can either upgrade your base stat so this is like the base the the normal base stat the one that comes with the item you can either upgrade it by sacrificing another item as material or you can change the bonus stat that it gives so in this case evasion you can try to use another item to change it into something else um and and get you know get bonuses for that i think i might try it in, in the i haven't tr i haven't done a lot of reforging because there's not there's not too much to change, like, I, I'm i pretty happy with my item set right now, and these, I know, are only temporary. They're gonna be replaced pretty soon. So, I think, um, I'm just kinda just waiting around, waiting for better gear before I, before I invest a lot of resources into it. There, there's three, there's actually three ways to get rid of extra gear. One is through reforging, like, if you want to reforge your extra gear, um, you can do that. Um, you can sell them, they actually sell for money. Ooh. I have no idea how much exactly they sell for. Let's let's actually try. Oh, they only sell for twenty. That that's that that's not worth it. Um, okay, never sell your gear. That's I never tried selling my gear. But um, the main way to get rid of extra gear that you don't need is to is through salvaging, and salvaging basically feeds the slime your your extra gears, and you get these crystalloids. The crystalloids are used for transmutation. Um, if you're like upgrading the the, the quality of a monster and they're also used for crafting so these are really really good resources you're definitely going to be needing needing them a lot um, if you're looking for extra gear the easiest way is probably to just either uh, farm the same map like ones that you know drop gear over and over again I think that's not exactly all that beneficial for you to try to aim and try to get these crystalloids unless you're stuck somewhere like unless you're really really trying to um, upgrade a certain monster and you just need like one or two more um, it's gonna be a lot of resources if you just if you just plan to just farm for for items you're probably better off farming for transmutation materials and you'll be able to get items along the way um, also make sure to do your your uh, tower of insolence because tower of insolence gives a lot of gear as well like most of the floors drop gear so if you just run it seven times you're probably like gonna get like five gear pieces or something each day yeah that's I think that's that's pretty much everything about gear um, the next little thing is your your skills skills are pretty straightforward basically if you if you level your skills can never pass your your heroes level um, so if they're level 31 you can only get your skills to level 31 and the skills are pretty much you want to upgrade them all like the, for your main hero the one that you're using you de definitely want to upgrade every single one of their skills to to max um, I never actually taken taken a look at her skills basically it's physical damage more physical damage more physical damage lots of physical damage and CC resist all right CC resist that's that's the last one um, this is pretty straightforward as well. I think it's basically you just want to upgrade. Uh, there's no re real reason not to upgrade them, like as much as you can. Is for the for the main hero that you're using. Leveling up is really straightforward for for your heroes. Basically, um, I don't think you really need to worry about using potions on them, your main hero, because your main hero is probably always going to stay at max level around. Once you get to around like level 27 or so. Um, your main hero is always going to stay at max level. Early on you can definitely feed some potions because it's easier for you to level up your player level but as the game progresses it's hard your player level gets harder and harder to level up but your um, you know EXP for for your heroes level is actually relatively the same so it's it, it does catch up at some point um, but at when you get to like level 27 or something stop using exp potions it's kind of not worth it anymore your your heroes levels will eventually catch up to your um, your player level so this is the last little thing for heroes the the uh, transformation this I actually I actually don't have a transformation for my for my Lara yet I've been aiming to get Owen because I actually liked her skills a little bit more um, but what transform transformation does is within battle your your hero you can click on the transformation and you, your hero can transform into um, into whatever form that that you have equipped and it lasts for a certain period of time and then it goes on cooldown and then you know if um, the cooldown goes off you will be able to use it again but most most of the time you can only use it once every single fight so it's kind of like a like a special ultimate for you to use 
um, that you can just pop, you know. It's pretty straightforward. Basically, what this does is it changes your normal skills. So like your first skill will be changed to, to th this guy's first skill um, every single time. Like his... Your um, your normal skill, the Blaze Storm, will be transformed into uh, whatever this is called, Infernal Spear, you know. So basically, all your other skills are going to be replaced by by uh, by the transformation skill, and the the transformations, the level of the transformation skills depends on the level of your normal skills. So if you have them at like if you have it, for example, my Lara is at level 31. I have all these skills at level 31. Um, if I transform into any of these and use their skills, their skills are going to be at level 31 as well. I'm probably gonna, in a later video, I'm going to review every single type of transformation, but this is just a system overview, so I'm not really going to go through that um, in this video. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. That's pretty much everything that you can you can um, learn about the hero. You can set like different gear sets, but I think that's kind of something for the future once you have actually have like a lot of gear. Anyways, that's been a little bit long, but hopefully I covered everything that there is to know about heroes. And thank you guys so much for watching, um, if you're still here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.